My name is Yazri Shahiri. I'm the Trade Commissioner from the Trade Section of the Malaysian Consulate in Hong Kong, uh, Oma Trade. Technically, our main objective is uh, to uh, link up the enterprises between uh, Hong Kong and Malaysia in various sectors, products and services. And uh, technically, we are here today to leverage on the biggest event happening in Hong Kong annually, which is the Asia Financial Forum 2024. Hong Kong is known as the super connector between the West and the East. It is also the uh, gateway for companies to go into the Greater Bay Area. So we are here today uh, to support or to also show that uh, Hong Kong is uh, back and financial sector is still one of the biggest or major sector in Hong Kong. And Hong Kong is still regarded as one of the uh, world's biggest financial center. We are here today uh, not only to learn on the new uh, practice, the new trends, development happening in the sector, we are also here to offer our uh, friendly uh, expertise in terms of a niche area in the financial services sector, uh, specifically in a segment called Islamic Finance. As uh, Hong Kong is also uh, quite aggressive in promoting, uh, attracting the uh, investors from the Middle East and ASEAN to come and do business in Hong Kong. We are here today to also share our capabilities in Islamic finance, uh, which is also a growing segment in uh, the financial services sector. And Hong Kong being one of the biggest uh, financial uh, city in the world, uh, it is uh, relevant and it is in time as uh, the Hong Kong government is also rapidly promoting the investors and also the potential clients from the Middle East and ASEAN to come uh, and invest and uh, do business in Hong Kong. So uh, Islamic Finance and all the sub-segments under it like Suku, Islamic Banking, Takaful and whatnot is something that uh, we like to uh, encourage and offer to players in Hong Kong to consider in uh, raising or in introducing for the retail market in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is beyond the 7.3 million population. Hong Kong has, uh, uh, they, are in, they are the international procurement centers and buying houses that, are, uh, that have their existence in Hong Kong and serving the market beyond Hong Kong. It's a market uh, such as uh, the European, uh, Northern American, Southern American continent, or Americas as a whole. So all these uh, IPCs, they call it, is serving the, 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 the principal or the clients that are located in all this region. So Hong Kong is not only about the domestic 7 million population. Hong Kong is beyond that. Therefore, you can say that Hong Kong is true, is a super connector between the East and the West. So be it when you talk about technology, when you talk about uh, the latest trend, when you talk about uh, what's new in line and all that, Hong Kong is a place for you to find and for you to uh, get connected and be acquainted and find uh, as much as possible uh, in terms of network and partnership uh, with people within your industry and beyond. Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong is a market that is beyond its 7.3 million domestic population. It is because Hong Kong is also hosting the international procurement centers and the global sourcing offices that are serving the principal and the clients that are located in the Western country, uh, such as in Europe, in US, in the Middle East, in, in the other parts of the world. Uh, therefore, uh, you have to see Hong Kong as, 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 as a market beyond the city's uh, population. And talking about Hong Kong, uh, is not limited to one specific industry or products. It can be, it can be uh, varies, as Hong Kong is also a city that is known for its uh, re-export uh, activities. So there's a lot of uh, transshipment and re-export activities happening in Hong Kong in various kinds of products and services. Therefore, to summarize that, uh, Hong Kong is a city of uh, opportunity and a city for you to expand your network and for you to go beyond the region, sub-region or the domestic market itself. It's beyond the 7.2 million, million population. Uh, let me just uh, give some examples. 
for instance, in the uh, iron and steel industry, uh, there's a lot of uh, Malaysian companies which facility are located uh, nationwide in Malaysia that are sending their shipments in terms of the rod, bar, steel, iron and so on to many parts of the world but through Hong Kong. And why they do that is because the efficiency, the uh, rules and regulations that are clearly stipulated in Hong Kong, the clearance time is so fast. So all these factors uh, added up to the advantage of Hong Kong to become uh, relevant and, be, and still be the connector between the East and the West. Some other example, uh, perhaps uh, we can also uh, look into the, the financial sector since we are, we are in AFF today. Uh, they are uh, Malaysian firms and uh, service providers that are providing the consultancy services as well as the training services to the associations in Hong Kong. Uh, for example, tomorrow on the 25th of uh, January, there will be the first ever fundamental training on Islamic finance uh, given by uh, the Malaysian party under the Malaysian Islamic Finance Centre, MIFC, to the Hong Kong Securities and Futures uh, Professionals Association, HKSFPA. Therefore, we can see there's an interest from the local society to learn about Islamic finance on how, what is the concept uh, what are the differences between the Islamic finance and the conventional uh, banking finance and whatnot? And uh, what are the characteristics, how to sell the products, how to market the products. So we, uh, from the Malaysia point of view, as a long-term friend of Hong Kong of 100 years of history trading with the city, we are more than happy to share this expertise and see how we can uh, leverage on each other's capabilities for future purposes. So technically, Hong Kong is true as uh, what is, it is branded by the, the, the Hong Kong leaders and the business uh, community in Hong Kong. It is the gateway to the Greater Bay Area. So uh, talking about the building materials, uh, iron and steel, that are supplied to the Greater Bay Area or GBA, because there's a lot of infrastructure projects that are currently being undertaken in that area. Uh, southern part of China, Hong Kong, Macau, I guess Hong Kong is also having like a mega project called Northern Metropolis in the uh, northern part of Hong Kong. So there's a lot of um, contents uh, like building materials, iron and steel uh, that, 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 that is needed to, to undertake all these projects. So this is one of the examples how the Malaysian firm or companies uh, is, is, is trying to uh, uh, seek opportunity in the GBA context but through Hong Kong. And you can see from the stats, uh, most of these exports is done via Hong Kong. This is important and this is uh, another way to, to see from the facts and figures that Hong Kong is relevant and Hong Kong is being chosen as the gateway. For us, it's a bit different. We are using uh, EFF to meet physically after uh, meeting virtually, after getting acquainted through uh, the online means, channel, email and whatnot. But this is the platform for us to finally meet physically. Some of us here today uh, met for the first time. But again, during AFF is also a time where we, where we find that uh, the best time to do uh, something uh, that we can uh, regard as a milestone out of all this uh, uh, matching that we have done earlier especially in the financial sector. And as an example, the, the training on Islamic finance tomorrow that will be happening in Hong Kong uh, via uh, an online platform, uh, but involving like more than 1,000 members of the Brokers Association in Hong Kong, is uh, an example of the outcome uh, that we can uh, take from an earlier arrangement plus meeting at AFF and this will be the outcome out of the uh, event, one of the outcomes that we can take from the event itself. Because we, with only uh, uh, online or, or virtual introduction uh, and without any physical interaction, you might not get the outcome. Technically, we see that AFF is the biggest uh, or one of the biggest uh, financial uh, sector event in the Asia region. Uh, it's not only 
for those located in Greater China, but even we, we can see our counterparts from ASEAN country, from Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Thailand. They are here today to learn and to hear what's latest in the in the industry. In the industry. What are new things that will be anticipated uh, for 2024 and beyond? And what are the changes that they have to uh, make in terms of staying relevant in the industry? So EFF plays an important role as a single gateway for you to get the latest information and to streamline with all the industry players, not only in this region, but beyond uh, the East Asia region. So for us in Malaysia and in ASEAN, so for us uh, in Malaysia, we see that EFF is a very important event annually and we hope to always be here and participate and be part of the, the exhibition. Oh, we are more than happy. We can see the crowd is back. Uh, I guess that the announcement for the border opening uh, last year was done uh, earlier. But this year we can see the crowd is back. There are more people. and. There's a lot of quality in the people that, that we can see here in the uh, forum. So we are so happy to be here. We hope that yeah, we can uh, continuously be here for years to come. First thing, I have to make a point that Malaysia uh, is supportive towards uh, Hong Kong's inception towards outside. Okay? We have made it clear that Hong Kong is our partner and we are more than happy to have uh, Hong Kong as part of our set. Okay, number two, talking about RCEP, it's one of the trade agreement and it's the biggest trade agreement comprising um, like two-thirds of the world population, I guess. Uh, so this is where we can see a, there's a lot of um, cooperation that can be uh, developed among the RCEP member countries uh, to develop and to offer something that is uh, beyond what they are offering in the market nowadays. So if you have the capabilities, uh, uh, let's say in, in some market, uh, one of the ASEAN member countries, and targeting the ASEAN market, for example, as, as the ASEAN country are all members of ASEAN. So this can be done and the cost can be lower due to the tariff reduction in the free trade agreement. Uh, so this is something that is the trend uh, nowadays to have more uh, cooperation and a trade treaty like RCEP is something that can facilitate and can uh, further enhance all this cooperation. And we are looking forward to see a, a, a new product technology in the market by having all this uh, cooperation uh, from the RCEP member countries.